This is the tie beam that I was working on, guys. We've got ourselves a little problem. I have no idea how far that rock goes in that beam. That's really a bummer, because this beam was nice and straight. So, I guess we have to replace it. Well, hey everyone. Well, as you can see, we had a little trouble with this tie beam. I really wanted to use this one because it's just arrow straight. And I really wanted to use this beam. It's really clear, it doesn't have many knots, and it's just straight as straight as can be for this uh, the center bent because that's the other half of the the other half of the loft, and there's gonna be you know there's gonna be no framing underneath it or anything. And I kind of saw that bad spot in the end and I I cut off as much as I could and I cut into the tenon to see how far it went and it just it keeps going that bad spot and it's the center pith part that's rotten and being such an important structural member I just I don't know it's just not wise to use it for that I guess so what I'll probably do with this beam is probably cut it into brace stock I'll probably start on the other end and just start cutting brace stock out of it so it won't go to waste I had one extra tie beam it's a good thing I had one extra one the other one I was gonna use is also very good beam really clear but it's got a left hand twist to it you know the grains going to the left and so that caused it to corkscrew on me a little bit so we're gonna have to use the string line method to cut that thing which is gonna take a little longer plus we have to start all over now and remark out a new tie beam um, because of that but you know I guess that's how it goes sometimes so anyways we'll keep persevering plugging along um, Thanks for tuning in as always, I appreciate it. We'll get that other beam over here and we'll start marking it out. And keep on rolling. We'll see you guys on the next video.